Alrighty guys, Rokagi here and welcome back to the brand new video. Here we are again on Mortal Kombat Onslaught and on today's video we're gonna do some kind of a beginner guide. Pretty much we're gonna talk about the things you should not do, the things you could do and then you're gonna slow your progress tremendously, especially as a free to play. We're gonna talk about on which banner is the smartest to summon and why. I will try to understand, uh, to explain everything as brief as possible, so everything will be understandable for the beginner players. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, your opinions in the comment section below, and let we start. First of all, the biggest mistakes, or one of the biggest uh, mistakes that you 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 could do for the on the global launch, is leveling up your minions. Okay, as a free to play, please don't level up those characters. Okay. Don't level up this, 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 this three characters don't level up. On the starter banner, you're gonna pull one five star if I'm not mistaken. Some people are pulling Shao Kahn, some people are pulling Noob. I don't know overall. I, based on the tier list, Shao Kahn is like, Undying Shao Kahn is like a god tier. So definitely, <laughs> maybe you should reroll for him in the beginning, but for that starter banner because it gives you a five star. But I just think overall that rerolling is not worth it because as a free to play, you will take certain route, route whatever you want to call it, where rerolling is just not important. I will explain everything. But okay, let we say you pulled from initial banner starter summon you pulled shao Kahn five star in the beginning of the game you're gonna also have scorpion okay so in the beginning make sure to focus on these two characters level them up put the gear upgrade the gear if you can uh try to put the gear where you get like uh, furthermore some attack stats here for me since i have two out of four set maybe it would be better if i just like Oh, you're also wasting the coins while doing that? Maybe I should put like this, give him additional defense. Yeah, I will play around with the gears furthermore. But I will see what is the most worth it for me. Also, make sure to upgrade the gears and everything else. So, uh, pretty much just work on, the, on these two characters in the beginning. Shao Kahn and Undying Shao Kahn or whoever you pulled from the 5 star starter uh, banner. And Scorpion. Put on the gear, put on the relic if you have, uh, work on the gears, equip the gear, upgrade the gear if you already can, and work on the abilities. So you can like level up the special abilities by using the books and the uh, coins where you're gonna get a lot just by leveling up. So do that on these two, two characters and don't level up other characters, please. Please, please, please. It's not worth it, okay? Because you won't have a lot of resources so you can level up all of those characters easily. No, 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 no. So leave minions as they are. Don't level them up because you could waste a crazy, crazy amount of materials. And, okay. When you're working on Shao Kahn and Scorpion, after a while, you're gonna face a wall. Like I did right now. So I'm on a story already on the 21st stage. I face the wall uh, so I will tell you what is necessary after that uh, also don't bother in three for don't bother tree starring the stages in the story right now be more focused on the progress 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 because with the progress you're gonna unlock more things and of course there is an idle principle in the game right here so in time you will get the materials to level up the character, the coins, the books, uh, which you can uh, upgrade the abilities, the skills, okay, with the coins, right? Like already mentioned, so in time, you, you will get a pretty decent amount of these materials, especially for the beginning. So this is like you're stuck right now, okay? You, you, you worked on your main characters and you don't want to waste materials on the minions. What you should do now next? Well, one thing is you can wait <laughs> so you get more of these materials. But at the end of the day, that's not waiting, okay? There is, like, you need to summon because you need to get more characters, more decent characters that you can progress in the game. 
when you get other characters prioritize working on the four characters not more than not more than that and please do not use your resources on enhancing the minions okay so for me the option is to wait i don't want to do that there is also a conquer uh, quest right here where you have arena story and chasm chasm is the place where you get those books and additional gears so this is a must grind although in the beginning this is without the summons account just one summon pretty much okay um you i need those gears i need more gears so i need to do this but i could replay it and just do it and do it and do it and i i can like replay this fight it and hopefully i could get something but the problem is that i need to three star it to get a random gear and i could do the auto win so i get more of account xp, XP and those coins so this can be helpful but only one time i get one random gear piece and now i'm stuck here and i cannot progress currently okay so this is what i'm gonna do now uh we're gonna go here and we're gonna summon a little bit and here we can now discuss on which banner you should summon okay so i was thinking about this like really thinking about this relic summon yeah relics are highly important for the characters they will enhance the characters furthermore they will give the stats especially if you upgraded but it in the beginning like you don't want to summon on the relic what i can notice we're not getting a lot of summoning material and you can get stuck relatively quickly without the summons okay okay let me explain the banners so there is a pre uh, apprentice banner okay where is the what where is the featured banner am i blind like there was also one more banner here the featured banner okay we're gonna ignore for that but there is also one more banner that after 80 summons you get a guaranteed character so i don't know what happened there but listen to this you have apprentice summon and you have fighter summon where you should summon okay don't summon now on the fighter summon and i'm gonna explain why yes on this banner you have 1.5 percent chance to pull the five star five star are like the strongest characters i would say in the game you have here really got here undying shao khan already have so we're good you could pull artica sub-zero this is one of the goals that i want to get you have also here hellfire scorpion uh black is also got tier noobs uh, well i believe also got maybe a god tier or maybe rank below liu kong a god tier and then a kong lao is a god tier but look at this it's really expensive 250 i can't even do a multi right now maybe if i buy with the the gems i buy uh the this summoning material and then i could do it okay but for now i don't want to use those materials like crazy okay so fighter summon for me now is not worth it even though i have higher chances for this for the for the five star why because apprentice summon is giving me something more first of all i have 100 for the multi okay it is the same are you doing the single summon or a multis as far as i know based off all informations yeah now you see omg 0.25 percent for the five star but this is what i'm talking right now our time for the five star is not here unless you want to reroll for million years <laughs> this, like don't expect a five star until you get like super super lucky but getting a four star and the three star for now it will be enough you're gonna main those certain characters they're gonna give you enough of strength so you can pass the stages and progress in the game for now you want to be focused on the progress 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 and getting even a four star and three star can be helpful but this is the big deal for this uh, banner you can also get a relic okay it doesn't matter do you get now uncommon or even a rare 
a relic it's fine you put those on the characters it will give you additional buffs that's why i think that this banner is way worth it for now and way more cheaper so you get those four star characters or three star you prioritize them you get few relics and that will be helpful for you to progress as you're gonna progress you're gonna transfer to the fighter summon and relic summon although i uh, from the first glimpse i would say pay to win game <laughs> honestly like I can do just a multi. I played at least an hour, but okay, never mind about that for now. So this is now pretty much all the mistakes that you could do. Rerolling, I don't know. You do you, but I just don't find it like too, too, too. Okay, so as you can see, I got now the three star also. Like we got a plenty of three stars, even a four star right here like two four stars and also i got the relic so from this multi i got a high high value honestly okay a really really high high value now from here i can even buy more of those so let me buy a few why not by now can i do a multi no i should buy like five do i have enough Oh, I can just buy it once, and now I need to use 2,000. <laughs> okay, oh, I can go like this. Oh, here it is at the front. It's super weird. I kind of just, like, buy at once. You know, that's 200. Okay, like, we're going to buy for another multi. Let's do another multi. So I believe in the beginning, using those stones for those additional summons is worth it and not not like going too crazy but then again you need to do those summons so you get relics so you get dupes for certain characters that will help you progress unless you want to wait and just like be on the mercy of idling um okay we, we can go one more good so let's do another multi Even now, I wouldn't have enough to do that multi on the fighter summon. And here already, I got few characters that will be helpful, plus the relics, okay? So this is the pad that you should take here. Okay, we, we, we got like three characters. All of them three star. Fine. Okay, let's see now. I did two multis. I was stuck. Let me see how much this will be helpful for my account now. Let me go to the quests. Yeah, I got also gears. You know, the summoning is really essential. Plus, look how much materials for the level up I get. So, yeah, yeah this is 100% how you should do it. Don't wait for idle. Do those summons. But summon, please, on this banner, okay? Don't summon on fighter. Summon of apprentice summon. Okay, here, you're gonna get, like, high value for the beginning. And then later on, you're gonna transfer to other banner. Now, this is the question who I should be focused on. Well, I got the, those four, four stars. I got Sindel. Uh, she, oh, sniper! Honestly, I'm gonna need that. I, I'm gonna need the snipers. So let's just work on her. I will main her also for now. Let me equip some gear. Uh, beautiful. Why not to have the sniper here in the? Um, it's a marathon game, especially for the free to play. So you cannot make like massive, massive mistakes. But at the end of the day. Not focusing on the right character. She's also defender spirit. He's also defender body. Okay, different type. Let's see. Um, body defender not w investing in him. Sonia Blade as a support. Potentially she could be the one that I should invest for now. Because I'm missing a support. And she'll be sniper for me. Mint. Mind. Uh, yeah. I, I will take that. So let me just level up her. 46. Uh, actually, let me put 35 for now. I need to be careful. We can go to level 60 for now, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe for the 4 star, already 100. But one not, not for sure. And then we're gonna take a 3 star for the support. Uh, this one is sniper. I'm not using sniper. I mean, I already have sniper. And then I will just level up like to 20 or something like that. Okay, let's level it up like this. Fine. Relic, since I summon now, 
potentially I could be able to use the relic. Yeah, bone, bone shield. Maybe enhance, not not now. Let's not enhance relic for now. Whole point is like take it easy. Uh, don't go full on in on everything. Like gradually level up the characters. Try out the stage, how they work. Don't do yet full full investments like crazy. Okay. And we are pretty much ready for now. Okay, I didn't even put all the gears nor anything like that. Let me go in the story and let we see how this will go. At the same time, I, ga I gave you some uh, beginner tips that should be helpful and helpful for breaking the walls when you get there. And this is the whole principle how you should do it. Maybe I forgot to say certain mistakes more that you, you could do. But pretty much summoning on the wrong banner. Focusing on the wrong characters. That all could cost you like insane progress honestly. And why I don't... Okay I was like what? And her as a sniper. She'll go in the back row. Uh, okay, we're gonna see how we're gonna do this, but uh, I believe this should be good. I have now support, I have now defender, I have attacker and the sniper. This will be now good. So yeah, those initial summons will be necessary, so cre you create somehow of a team, then focus on those four characters for the progress. As you progress, you're gonna get more materials, and eventually you're gonna do the summons on the fighter and everything else, and you're gonna be focusing on the five star. But it will take some time until until that moment, guys. So be patient. Mm, we're gonna see now. I was heavily stuck here. Couldn't do it with pretty much only Scorpion and Shao Kahn. But let's see now the difference and how everything will go. Maybe I should play it manually. Definitely it would be better. But we're already on the third wave, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, before it took much much longer time sniper doing its thing have in mind i still didn't put the right gears or them on them or anything like that so i have much to grind but honestly this is those initial mistakes that you should you you could do make sure to avoid them and yeah just listen to my tips what i told you right now check out my tier list um, not my tier list, but Casino's tier list, but I reviewed the, uh, reviewed the, uh, I reviewed that tier list, so you can definitely check it out, he confirmed that, that it's nice and everything else, so, just so you know, let's end the video for now here, I believe, I believe everything is clear, leveling up, oh yeah, about the dupes, there's just that one little thing I need to see now before we end, you can also take the guest character, that's nice. Uh, but yeah, the game is looking nice for now. I cannot complain, but I can see those pay to win aspects 100%. Maybe they're gonna improve it. Maybe they're gonna listen. Maybe they won't. Also now, I'll be able to grind more gear and everything else because of those little summons that we made. Uh, yeah, about dupes. I got his dupe, so I want to see this level up. I can even put more gear, abilities, soul bind, that is for the dupes, not enough, okay. Oh, I need four and then I can soul bind to four star, okay, okay. Uh, we're gonna end the video here, hopefully you did enjoy the video, hopefully it was helpful, leave a like, subscribe, your opinions in the comment section below, and yeah, see you next one, bye.